Welcome to the next installment of the DMTF's Redfish channel. This particular session is on the Redfish model uh, for managers. I'm Jeff Hilland, uh, employed by Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and I'll take you through this session. Again, going over the resource map, um, the object we're going to be looking at is the manager's collection. That's for BMCs, Enclosure Manager, and other manager services that manage different parts of any particular implementation. Again, those are collections, and I'll be going through a couple of examples of those in the uh, Explorer tool. Going to the Explorer, um, I'm going to go over simple rack-mounted server for the most part, but there are some interesting components of the bladed system, and I'll show you those as well. So going into the Manager's collection for the simple Explorer, there um, is the BMC, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, there's an OData type associated with it. Again, ID and name and manager type, just like uh, all the rest of the collections, instead of system type and chassis type. This is a manager type of type BMC. It's got a description. It's also got a service entry point UUID. Um, if you look back in the very root of the root service, there was a UUID for the service. And by correlating the service entry point UUID inside of each manager, you can figure out if any one of the managers is in charge of the service, and if so, which one. Um, so, and then this uh, individual server has a UUID. It's got a model, date, time, and date, time offset. Status, um, this one is enabled, and the health is OK. It's also got a graphical console, which is enabled, um, that runs KVMIP. Uh, here's a serial console that can run Telnet, SSH, or IPMI, and it's enabled. There's a command shell interface that's set to true. It can handle four sessions at once for Telnet and SSH. And this one is running version 1.0 of the firmware. I'll go over the network protocol settings here in a second, as well as Ethernet interfaces, serial interfaces. I won't go over log services because we did that in computer system, so please go back to that YouTube session uh, towards the end for logs. Um, and then virtual media. And you'll also see this has a link. Um, this is a manager for this particular individual server. It's also a manager for this particular SAS, uh, chassis. And it's, uh, the manager is actually in this same chassis as well. You can reset this um, particular manager by going to this object and including a reset type of either force restart or graceful restart. Odd values for a um, BMC, but um, that's what this one particular, in particular has. You notice there can be OEM actions as well as OEM objects. Uh, there aren't any in these examples because we showed examples of OEM extensions in the computer system, and they're pretty much the same without, uh, throughout. So a quick example of the bladed enclosure. Here's its manager collection. Now you'll notice this is quite a bit different from a simple uh, pizza box style server, rack mounted server. This one has a multi-blade BMC as well as, again, I should not be con assuming that that's exactly what that is, but that's the URI from it. Um, and then there's a bunch of other uh, BMCs in here as well. These should be similar to the pizza box server one, so I'm not going to go over those individually, but I am gonna click on this one and take you in there because this has a name of enclosure manager and a manager type of enclosure manager. And um, it's got its own internet interface and log services, um, but it's also telling you I'm a manager for the chassis multi-bladed enclosure. And in it, you'll, you'll see it's got its own power and thermal and it contains a m bunch of blades. Um, so this is, in fact, an enclosure manager that contains a bunch of blades, and we saw that each one of those blades has a BMC. And we just kind of went over what a simple uh, BMC would look like. Um, so let's take a look at the network protocol object. Again, this is an OData type of manager protocol with its OData ID name description status. This has a host name set as well as a fully qualified domain name already set. It's got HTTP on is true, which it would be hard to use Redfish without either HTTP or HTTPS. This one has an IPMI implementation that is uh, enabled in, and on, as well as supporting SSH, SNMP, virtual media, SSDP, so that's the Redfish Discovery Protocol, Telnet, and KVM over IP. And you can look at those individual values and, and implementation should support disabling those by setting them to fault, as well as disabling or changing the port numbers uh, through this particular object. So all the network services for the BMC are contained in the network protocol 
Manager Network Protocol object. Looking at um, NICs, this particular uh, system has a dedicated NIC. Of course, we're just kind of assuming that from the URL. Um, but it only has one NIC. It's of type Ethernet interface for the schema definition, name, description, status. Uh, interface enabled is true. It's got a permanent MAC address as well as its current MAC address, and those are the same. Um, speed for the NIC, auto-negotiated full duplex MTU size, just as it was for systems when we went through that. And then there's VLANs. And the way VLANs are done on Ethernet interfaces is there's either a simple VLAN object or there could have been a VLAN connection in here, a, a collection in here. So if I support more than one VLAN, I would have found not a VLAN ID, but instead a bunch of VLANs um, and, and all of those set in a collection. Um, there's IPv6 address. Again, it's an array because I can have more than one. There's an IPv6 address policy table as well as an IPv6 status address for this one. So, um, and IPv6 default gateway and other addresses. Name services. This particular one is at namesdmtf.org. And there is, because there may be more than one naming service. Um, and then this has a Redfish settings as I went over in the um, common properties, because you find the annotation at redfish.settings, I know that I go to this settings object right here um, for the settings for this particular NIC next time it takes a reboot. I'll go ahead and go into that, and you can see that it's this exact same copy of this object, just um, I can do my rights to the product uh, uh, properties here. It isn't, co it isn't uncommon for um, implementations to write more than what the implementation could allow them setting. Um, but again, you won't find out about that until these settings are applied and there may be a bunch of messages saying um, either the whole thing was rejected because there was too much data there, non-writable properties were there, or a more forgiving implementation could just pr uh, put forward warning messages that said, hey, you tried to write a non-writable property, so I didn't do it. Everything else was applied. Both implementations are allowed by the specification. Looking at the serial interface, this has a uh, serial interface. Um, it's about what you would expect. Again, ID name, status description, it's enabled, it's true. And then this is an RS-232 type interface, bit rate parity, data bit stop, flow control, connectivity type, and pinout are all there. Um, looking at virtual media, I'm not going to go through both of these, but it looks like there's a floppy and it looks like there's a CD, but then I shouldn't make those assumptions, but there certainly are two virtual media. Looking at the floppy, this is a virtual media type. It could either be floppy or USB stick, which is interesting. Um, this particular one, we'll just assume it's floppy. Here's my image. Um, and the image, again, would depend on um, um, what the media type was. The image has an image name. It's connected via URI right now. Inserted is true and write protected is false. So it uh, turns out I can write to this particular image. Um, so that's the manager's implementation in a nutshell. Um, um, again, uh, the OData context, OData ID is the self pointer. The context is for um, generic OData clients. And don't put a Redfish copyright in a implementation. That's just there for DMTF's copyright services. Thanks for watching this installment on the Redfish YouTube channel. Again, for more information, see the Redfish developer portal, the Redfish standards page, or join and get involved in the SPMF inside the DMTF. Thanks for watching.